This table shows the area of main reinforcement bar. The first column shows the size of reinforcement bar and the first row shows the number of reinforcement bar. The numbers here represent the area of reinforcement bar in mm square. These numbers are worked out by using this equation, which is total number of reinforcement bar multiplied the area of a circular, which is pi r square. These are some examples of the layout of the reinforcement bar. In principle, normally we ensure a symmetrical arrangement of reinforcement bar. The number of reinforcement bar can be in the form of even number or in the form of odd number. Depending on the available space between the reinforcement bar, the four amount of reinforcement bar can be arranged in this manner or in this manner. When four units of reinforcement bar is arranged in this manner, you need to make sure the minimum spacing here should be sufficient. If the reinforcement bar is arranged in this manner, the center of the reinforcement bar will be here and it will determine the depth of the beam. To determine the depth of the beam of an even number reinforcement bar, theoretically you need to find the centroid of the area. Next we look at the area of shearing table. The size of the stirrup is given here, while the spacing of the stirrup is given here. This number represents a ratio of the area of the shear link divided by its spacing. It can be worked out by using this equation. The area of the shearling have to be multiplied by 2 due to the two effective cross-sectional area of the link. These two tables will be handy to you in order for you to design for the main reinforcement bar and the shearling of a beam.